19 year old Jessie Hess was described by her father as an opinionated, bubbly and loving young lady who loved clothes, shoes, bags and would never turn down an offer of food. Jessie was a first year university student who studied theology at the University of the Western Cape. She was also a youth leader. At the time, she lived in an apartment in Paro, Cape Town with her grandfather, Chris Latahan. Now, Chris was 85 years old at the time and he was described as a warm person and who would talk about anything and he always had a smile on his face. Now, the lives of Jesse and her grandfather, Chris, came to a brutal end when a man called David van Boeven visited their home on the 30th of August 2019. Hey guys, it's me, Amber Mgushalwa, and this is on the case with Amber. David van Boeven was related to Jesse. He was Jesse's cousin. But now David was not an outstanding South African citizen because he had previous convictions for aggravated robbery and rape of which he was released on parole in December 2018. In fact, he was described as someone who could be charming and intelligent, but if he didn't get his way, he would turn into a violent and aggressive person. Now, on the 30th of August 2019, David picks up a man called Taslim Ambrose. Now, Taslim was a 39-year-old father of three who also had a string of previous and pending drug-related cases and a conviction for illegal firearm possession. On the day, David tells Taslim that they are going to Paro because he wants to collect money from a family member. Now, when they get to Jesse and Chris's home, they ring the bell or they knock and Chris, the grandfather, is the one that opens for them. He opens for them freely because I'm assuming um, David had been there before since he was family. As soon as Chris opens the door for them, David starts assaulting the 85 year old. On the other hand, Taslim is confused and shocked and he tries to leave but when he opens the door, the door is locked. And on the other hand, he also fears David because he knows what David is capable of. Now, with all that was happening, Jessie probably heard the commotion because she came out of one of the rooms and David immediately started assaulting her as well. Now, Chris and Jessie were both tied up and gagged at this point. David then instructed Taslim to remove all valuables from the apartment. Things like two television sets, a laptop, cell phone and rings. And I guess all the while Taslim was busy doing this, David was sexually assaulting Jesse. And when he was done, he actually suffocated her to death and left her on the bed. Now Chris's life was also not spared because he was strangled to death and left in the bathroom where he was later found as well. Now David and Taslim were both arrested around November 2019. Um, the first one to be arrested was actually David for, some, for a different case and I guess that's how they linked him to this case and um, also I'm guessing that's how Taslim's name came about as well. Now when the case went to court these two fools turned against each other and the person that showed more remorse was Taslim. He also apologized to the family while on the other hand David was actually not even bothered. He was smirking, smiling and doing all sorts of things um, and showing no remorse. But the judge um, sentenced David to two terms of life imprisonment, 40 years for uh, two counts of robbery 
eight years for sexual assault, three years for fraud, and the sentences to run concurrently. While Taslim was sentenced to 12 years imprisonment on two counts of robbery. Now, I came across this case while I was doing my research on a different case and when I read about it, I thought um, I should actually, maybe it's a sign for me to talk about it on my channel. So, you guys, when I read about the gruesome and the brutal way that Jesse and Chris um, was murdered, I was actually very disgusted and there's so much I would want to say about this case but my battery is about to die so I will leave you guys to comment um, and um, yeah what do you guys think of today's case please do leave your comments below also you guys please support me by giving this video a thumbs up by liking this video doesn't mean that you like what's happening in this case but you just appreciate the research that I have done um, on this case. Also, if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing to this channel and please feel free to share my videos with your friends, your family and your enemies too. Why not? <laughs> um, until next time, you guys. I will see you guys next time here on The Case with Amber. Bye.